Hello everyone, this is Amit Dan of AmitDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of GoPro Tips and Tricks video and I'll talk about the best settings for GoPro action cameras. If this is your first time or repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If you're into thinking outside the box, this is the channel to subscribe. If you're looking for more GoPro Tips and Tricks videos, there'll be links in the description box below. Today. I'll talk about the best settings for your GoPro cameras. So this would apply to both newer version and older versions of GoPro. Uh, they're basically very similar and I'm just going to go over with the GoPro Hero 10 which is the newer version of GoPro. But if you have an older version you can still match these settings and you're going to have just some of the settings you may not have uh, availability on your older version of GoPro but except that uh, most other settings are going to be the same. Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to go over the beginner's settings for your GoPro to have the best uh, video recording possible, whether you have an older version of GoPro or a newer version of GoPro. So the settings are basically the same for any GoPro, uh, but uh, if you have an older version, you may not have access to some of the features uh, in the such as in the newer version. And I'll try to like you know tell you which ones are not available in your uh, older GoPro. So the first thing I'd like to mention here that uh, for example if you have an older version of GoPro uh, you can see here that when you uh, go to the settings so for example if you just uh, go to the settings here and then you have only one option for settings so for example if you just click here you're going to see that you know you don't have uh, different uh, like you know video settings uh, you have just only one setting where you have to change everything uh, for example right here but if you have a newer version of GoPro such as uh, GoPro Hero 10 then when you go to the settings uh, then you're going to see that there are like you know lots of different uh, options so basically these are some uh, presets uh, GoPro provided for newer versions of GoPro and uh, you don't uh, don't get confused about this these are for specific purposes but i'm just going to go over the very uh, you know general video recording for your gopro and uh, you don't have to actually like you know follow them or follow their settings what they're telling you so what i'm going to do uh, you can just like you know uh, when you go to your new version of gopro if you see too many just go to the one says custom so for example right here you can see that custom and just click on it and this is going to be your like you know main settings uh, for example if you have an older version of GoPro that's going to be actually the only one setting you have access to so for the first thing you're going to see that uh, resolution and frame per second so near version of GoPro uh, it gives you access to up to 5.3 K so you can see for example right here and if you'd like high resolution uh, then you can go ahead and do so but just keep in mind that the higher the resolution is going to be is going to take more size in the memory card or in the you know SD card and also on your computer and also it's going to be more difficult to you know edit a video recording so I usually don't try to uh, go with uh, 5.3k uh, and I stick to like you know 4k and if I'm traveling I even lower my resolution to 2.7k because that gives even much lower file sizes is still with good quality so if you have older version of GoPro you're not going to have 5k the maximum you're going to have access is 4k so you can just like you know uh, set it up to 4k for older GoPro but for newer GoPro uh, you can have like an you know, up to 5.3k but also it's going to give you a lot bigger file size and one thing to remember that GoPro is not very good with low light so if you're doing shooting in low light then don't go to 5.3k uh, stay up to 4k or even you can lower it to 2.7k that's give in general better uh, video quality if you are in low light than 5.3k so the frame rate is you can have like you know for example this numbers here uh, here you can see that 30 24 80 120 to 40 these are frame rates and it's just like you know per second how many pictures the video is taking uh, I go with 24 frame per second because that's what you see you know when you're watching movie and uh, on TV uh, and that's what usually our natural eyes see so it looks more like in you know, cinematic if you go with 24 frame per second but let's say if you want to slow down 
something, let's say you're like, you know, you're recording something and you'd like to go uh, show it as slow motion, then you can go with higher frame rate, for example, 60, 120 or 240. But if you are a beginner, then I would say just stay with 24 or 30, but my preference would be 24. So for this example, we are going to use a 4K 24 per sec frame per second, but also when I'm traveling, this setting, I change it to uh, 2.7K. So just keep in mind that some of the resolution may not have the full uh, frame rate or may not have all access to all frame rates. For example, I'm trying to go 2.7K and I'm trying to go 24, but if I click on it, you can see that it's switching back to 4K uh, 24. So it looks like for this setting, uh, you can go 2.7, but you're not gonna have access to uh, 24. So you can have access up to 60 frames per second if you're going for 2.7K. So we'll just like, you know, move on to the next one. Now the lens is going to be a few more options. So here, if you click here, this is the norm narrow view. So it's going to make your film or video look narrower and it's not going to look good. I don't recommend that. And the next one is going to be linear and horizontal leveling so try to go with linear if you're looking for just like a regular camera and cell phone would record and the horizontal leveling is just like you know level your video for example if you're holding the camera like this so still it would be level but if you have a lower version of GoPro you may not have access to linear or I'm sorry uh, horizontal leveling and definitely you're gonna have access to linear and then here you can see that this is just the linear and the next one is going to be the wide. So it's just going to make everything looking uh, look wide. Uh, if you want to uh, have wide video, then you can use that. And then here we have super view. You may not have access to super view in uh, older version of GoPro, but it just kind of wide widens up the lens and or the camera. And then you have more access. But the best would be to use just linear or linear and horizontal leveling. That's what I use if you have access to horizontal leveling. So we're going to go back to hyper smooth. So this is image stabilization. So if you have a lower version of GoPro, you may not have the boost. You may not may have up to just you know high and uh, low or off, and then standard and high and boost. So this one I keep it to boost uh, but if you have a lower version of GoPro then you're going to have up to I think high uh, but you know the more farther you go it's going to be more stabilized but it's going to crop more and if you don't need image stabilization for example when you're recording something like you know uh, set you're not moving or you're on a tripod and you're fixed then you don't need actual image stabilization so in that case you can just use the hyper smooth off and when you're moving then you can use either standard high or boost but the farther you go it's going to be cropped so your video is going to be slightly cut on the edges and boost is going to have the maximum cropped and the standard is going to be have lower crop so that's something to remember so let's go back here So here, schedule capture, I don't need to go that. Duration, no limit, uh, hindsight off, timer off. Now, let's talk about Protein. So Protein gives you more control of your settings. And I always recommend that you know you turn on Protein, then you're gonna have access to all these. And here, uh, if you have a new version of GoPro, then you're going to have access to bitrate. And this is going to be either high or standard. Uh, if you have a lower version of GoPro, then you may not have the bitrate uh, access. But for this one, I would say always go high, even if you're recording at 1080, and even if uh, then your bitrate is high, then you're going to have uh, 4K like video quality. But if you're recording at 4K and your bitrate is low, then your video is going to look like 1080. The reason for that is that the higher the bitrate, the camera captures more information and it do it does increase file sizes, but it gives you better you know, video because it has more information to deal with. So always this one I recommend high, even if you are doing 1080 resolution. 
shutter speed go with auto and EV compensation uh, for newer GoPro I keep it at zero but if you have an older version then you can uh, go up to kind of minus half uh, the reason is that which is right here minus half for older version of GoPro because if you have like in you know, a zero or above for older version of GoPro your video might look too bright so you can go with either zero or minus half but for newer version of GoPro they fix that uh, and going zero is just fine uh, or even you can go up to plus half so the higher you go is going to get brighter you know the video quality but it comes with a cost it's going to not look you know natural so that's why you know I wouldn't recommend going above zero or uh, plus half or plus one even if you are in the like you know dark area or a kind of not sunny area the best thing is would be just to you know increase the brightness in post-production when you are actually editing your video so for newer GoPro you can go with zero and for lower you can go with minus half that's my recommendation so let's go back and we have white balance keep it to auto I also I would generally recommend going with 100 to 800 if you go above 800 then it's going to capture more light but it may not look good in the video so this one I would say just you know stay within 100 to 800 so I assume just basically how much light is affecting your video quality or how much light your video is capturing and then sharpness uh, there's low and medium so there's medium and there's low and there's a uh, high uh, if you go high it's going to be too sharp it looks too sharp and it doesn't look natural so GoPro is best performs uh, at uh, medium so this one I would say go medium with if all types of GoPro newer or older and then color here you have access to GoPro uh, vibrant color in the newer version and the natural and then flat uh, flat is when if you like you know do color correction in post editing but I don't I never use that I never like you know post edit my color uh, with flat so I would always go with natural or vibrant uh, if you have other older version of uh, GoPro you may have you may not have vibrant you may have just like a you know, GoPro GoPro color so in that case just go with the GoPro color now raw audio is going to be off wind is auto so wind noise option you can have like a you know, wind reduction auto and you can have wind reduction on and you can have uh, wind reduction off so if you have wind reduction off it's just going to get more wind noise and if you have wind reduction on then it's going to try to like you know clear wind noise all the time uh, and the best setting here would be auto so in that case the camera knows like you know if there's no wind uh, it wouldn't try to balance anything but if there's wind then the system would kick in and try to cut wind noise so my preference would be uh, auto and then here shortcut it's just like you know you can create shortcuts on main screen from uh, for any uh, like you know settings but if you have uh, older version of GoPro uh, you may or may not have uh, short this option I do not remember right now but you know uh, you can use the shortcut or uh, you can uh, just like you know uh, you don't have to change anything if you don't want to so basically what shortcut is that when you are going by the screen here you can see like you know shortcuts and this is for newer version of GoPro so now I'm just going to go to a different setting and see if it lets me choose uh, 2.7 cat 24 frame for per second for newer GoPro and you can see that if I clicking on 24 it's switching back to 4k so it looks like if you're doing 2.7 K then it, you have the option to 60 120 and 140 and same with uh, let's say 4k uh, you can do like you know 24 frame per second and if you have uh, let's say if you set like you know 4k or anything and if you are clicking on a frame rate and if it doesn't change that means it, you don't have that option so for example 5k you can have uh, 
24 frame per second and then you can have 30 you can have 60 and you can have 120 but you can see that if you're going to 120 frame per second it's switching back to 4k so that means that at 5.3k resolution you don't have the option to do 120 frame per second which would be to do extreme slow motion uh, so that would be like if you're uh, videoing like you know sports or birds or other activities so the higher the frame rate you could slow down the further uh, but you know in general I would always recommend either 24 if you're doing 4k or if you're doing 2.7k or 1080 then the lowest option you have for example for 1080 you have uh, you can do either 24 and up to 240 frame per second but 24 is the one which is going to give you more cinematic look so these are the all basic GoPro settings for beginners uh, if I miss something uh, and you could just like you know put it in the uh, comment section below and I hope to do more GoPro tips and tricks videos in the future so thank you for watching this video there will be more videos coming up so I'll see you shortly thank you